all four life products, there's a wealth of science that goes into a product as we develop it. Uh, TF Collagen is really no different. In fact, we actually, uh, as we were developing this and understanding and learning about the ingredients, we were actually asked to write a research article on the development of this product. And that research article was published just last year in a very prestigious journal. And what we found through the development of these in, uh, ingredients is what were the best sources of collagen uh, and as it pertains to skin health, uh, nail health, as well as hair health. Uh, and we learned what were the very best ingredients to give those benefits. Transfer factor, uh, as we know, is an immune benefiting ingredient. And when we think about our skin, our skin really is an immunological organ. That is, it's our body's first line of defense against environmental health threats. Uh, and in fact, what happens is there's a lot of immune cells on our skin. In fact, more immune cells in the case of T cells than in our blood. And we know that transfer factor helps uh, regulate those immune cells when they become overactive. When you think about um, peptides and proteins and amino acids, amino acids really are the building blocks of peptides and proteins, uh, but they don't have a lot of information as to where they need to go in our bodies, and really that's more the role of, of small peptides. Proteins also have that role, but oftentimes they're too large to be digested, and so they're not utilized by our body as well, and so there's this kind of a sweet spot in terms of peptides and proteins called small peptides or hydrolyzed peptides, which is what this collagen is, that really gives our body the information of where it needs to go. And so our body's job is to digest it, to absorb it, to get it into the blood, and then get it to its target tissues. And with amino acids, it simply wouldn't do that. Uh, and our body understands that our body has evolved over time to be able to recognize how to break down nutrients, in this case collagen, so that they can utilize it uh, as efficiently as possible. As you look at collagen products out there, you see a lot that are based on marine collagen. You see a lot that are based on bovine. Uh, when you look at them from a, from a structural standpoint, uh, from a sequence standpoint, they're similar but slightly different. And where they really differentiate themselves as it pertains to skin health and hair health and nail health is the research that's gone into them. And the research that has gone into marine collagen as it pertains to these areas of health is much, much stronger than in bovine collagen. And so when I look at the different products out there, I look towards what is the source of collagen because I know from the research on marine-based collagen that you're gonna see benefits, particularly uh, towards skin, hair, uh, as well as nails. So there's not really uh, plant collagen. Plants don't produce collagen. Collagen's produced by humans, by animals. Uh, and so what I think is being talked about is there are botanicals, there's herbs that help synthesize collagen. Uh, and so I think that's really what they're talking about. It's not necessarily providing collagen, it's actually helping support the synthesis of collagen. different types of collagen out there and so when I think about collagen and the research that goes into collagen it really comes down to a number of things. Uh, the type um, and the source of collagen is very important. Different sources of collagen have different benefits and so in the case of skin health you really want to look at the marine source collagen. I also think about the molecular weight of the collagen. So in our case we have hydrolyzed collagen and so that's a very important ingredient in a collagen product because it has to be hydrolyzed because you want it to be able to be digested and then get to the target tissues, in this case skin, hair, nails. Um, and then also the dose. The dose is very important in terms of collagen and we, through our research, have found that having at least five grams of a marine-based collagen that is hydrolyzed is really the optimal type of collagen to have to confer these benefits towards skin, hair, and nails.
So when you think about collagen and age, we know that as we get older, we lose collagen. Uh, that collagen loss happens as early as your 20s, sometimes even in your late teens. Uh, and so if I look at uh, a proactive approach towards skin health, you might think about taking it as early as in your 20s, uh, but you will also see benefits in your 30s, 40s, and 50s as well. Five grams or 5,000 milligrams of collagen is more than sufficient to confer benefits towards your skin, towards your hair, towards your nails. Uh, actually, a lot of the research that was done on the, on the particular brand of collagen that is used in TF Collagen actually shows benefits as low as two and a half grams of collagen. Uh, in this particular case, we have five grams in it where there's been a number of studies as well to produce benefits towards wrinkles, uh, fine lines, uh, elasticity, skin fatigue, even things like radiance and brightness in the skin. If we look at the research that went into the ingredients, we know that we're going to see benefits towards skin, towards nails, and towards hair. Uh, and those benefits are really going to manifest themselves in terms of improvements in fine lines and wrinkles, improvements in skin firmness, and even improvements in terms of hydration uh, and radiance and the evenness of the skin tone. And that was really some of the compelling research that as we were studying this that we felt was going to be a real attribute to this product is seeing an evenness and improvement in skin complexion and radiance as well as brightness of the skin. did a lot of the research on the ingredients that went into transfer factor collagen, we actually found results as early as four weeks. Uh, and that pertains to skin elasticity, fine lines and wrinkles, as well as skin evenness and tone and radiance. Uh, and so that's, that was a really compelling reason to uh, look at this particular source of collagen because you can see these results uh, in a very quick manner. Collagen standpoint itself, the ingredient really, it's a protein, it's a peptide, uh, and so there's really no optimal time to take uh, the collagen itself. But we also have ingredients uh, that are fat soluble, so some of the vitamins in there are fat soluble in vitamins. And so when you think about taking fat soluble ingredients like these vitamins, you really want to take them uh, during the meal time to get the optimal benefit. Uh, but I think overall, in the long term, there's really no bad time to take the TF collagen. But if you want to get the optimum benefit, you might think about taking it during uh, the course of a meal. I think my answer would be that when you, if you want to look at getting a total immune benefit, you really uh, need to think about taking the tri-factor by itself because that's really 600 milligrams of transfer factor whereas in the targeted product we are typically talking about anywhere from 100 to 200 milligrams and so they're going to give you a benefit towards whatever we are targeting but it won't give you that full immune benefit that you would get with a transfer factor tri-factor uh, product.